week again, we've been out toy hunting, digging through those boxes, looking for those epic figures. Who knows what will be found? Join us today as we go through a huge toy haul, the biggest yet. I've even had to separate it into crates. Seven boxes worth of stuff. That much, we'll go through it as fast as possible. I'm just gonna pick out my favorite pieces of the day this weekend at the car boot. Check it out, guys. Stay tuned. everyone fellow collectors how are we doing welcome back to another video with demise family the home of all things geek <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in welcome back to the channel what is going on it's that time again it's the weekend We're digging through the boxes at the car boot looking for those epic finds thanks for joining us here at demise family youtube channel if you are new we unbox things we attend comic cons we do toy reviews comic book reviews much more. Ah, I don't know where to begin, so we'll just make some space first. That's probably a good idea. Wow. Now, as we know, this weekend has been a hot, warm weekend, which is perfect car booting weather. Uh, it was crazy. Absolutely mental. Really busy. Field full of stalls, jam packed. Literally every stall had something good on. It was just what an epic weekend. So, first, guys, I've seen things like this at car boots before, but never found one. It's Sub Zero Chase Funko. I know you rarely find chases in the shop, but to find a chase figure at the car boot was definitely a new one for me. I walked past and saw it and I was like, I love Mortal Kombat, love Sub-Zero, how much are these? It was going cheap and it's the chase version as well. So there he is in the box guys, I'm not going to unbox him because I've got too much to get through, but the chase version of him, he's holding like the, he's doing like the, the frosts coming out of his hand and the normal version is just him doing exactly the same thing. Bit of a lazy chase, but still, never, never, Mother. Can't even speak. Too excited. Nevertheless, say it slowly. Lazy chase, but still a good figure. Moving on. And again, yet again, another amazing figure unopened in the box. Optimus Prime Transformers. And it's a transforming one. He turns into the truck. It's unopened. Not even a mark on it. Unbelievable. What an unbelievable start to the day already. Crazy. They were both from different stalls. Again, this is from a different stall. Don't usually buy plushies, but it's Yoda. And it's literally brand new. So soft. It's Yoda. We'll just chuck him on the table. There we go. Right. Time to start running, rummaging through these boxes. Like I said, I have sorted them into different boxes. I'm just going to pick up my favourite finds of the day. Power Rangers box. What have we got? Now this was a good find. Mighty Morphin, Red Ranger, 11 inch figure from the movie range I think as well. I mean I, I, I had this exact figure when I was a kid and all the other ones as well. Oh, what, what, nostalgia. Absolutely awesome. So that's going in my Power Rangers collection. Uh, I also found these. these, these are for much later on obviously. And, and bigger, but I mean these big figures are great. They stand really nice on the shelf as well. We've got a blue ranger and a yellow ranger to go with that as well. Woo! Stand still. Um, loads of other Power Rangers I bought on the day as well to go with because there's so many different variations, so many different series. So it's hard to keep up with such a big collection to get. To get. But this one I thought was really strange. Look! He's so tall! I can't remember which one this is from, so if you do know what this is from and you've seen it and you have it in your collection already, please do let me know. He's just so tall! And how, how strange! So, yeah. 
Obviously, these are big figures, but that is a really tall Ranger compared to a normal sized one. Well, that one's missing an arm, but that one's for spares. There we go. Look at the size difference. Moving on again. More Funko Pops. But loose. I won't pass these up because I unbox and display my figures loose anyway. I haven't got this. It's Deadpool. And it's one of the early versions of him as well. He's got the sword, the katana sword, and a mini Uzi in his hand. But that is really cool. Wobbly head because he's Marvel. I haven't got this figure. He'll go perfectly on the shelf behind me on the Demise Family Collector shelf. In fact, I'm going to put him on now. I've got my shelf up there, the Marvel one. Sat between, sat between Red Hulk and Venom. Perfect. Next fun loose Funko Pop, Dobby. Oh, there he is. What a cool figure. I love Harry Potter, I love the figures, I love the franchise, collecting figures for the Harry Potter series. It's Dobby, I haven't got Dobby, so that was another great find. And he's holding the sock! Put him down there. So, the signs, the signs were there, already off to an amazing start. Let's just carry on and get through this, guys. I just want to show you what I've got. Now, pick these up from a different stall. Now, these I have seen before and are really strange. The vintage Star Wars, vintage Star Wars bendies, so you can bend them into different positions and shapes, and they look really strange. Uh, Han Solo, there, look at him. You can bend his legs into some really strange positions, positions there, and his face just looks weird. It doesn't look like Han at all. Uh, Leia's the same. She's very pale, very white. She's got some weird shoulders going on. But these are official, even though they look like terrible bootlegs. Even the Emperor has got some really weird prune face going on that doesn't look like the Emperor. But I haven't got these mad on Star Wars, so they were a nice little find to go with the collection as well. Bendy. Bootleg looking Star Wars bend bendable figures. Hands not standing up, you can just lay down. Talking later. Picked up a Captain Phasma, nothing special. Uh, I haven't got the figure, but sadly it's lo missing the shoulder piece and the blaster. But nice little figure. Picked it up for not much at all. Uh, General Grievous as well. There's a quite a few versions of him. Just stick his arm back in. It's renowned for doing that, this figure. General Grievous, sadly missing his lightsaber and his, and his, his, his cape. But that will go nicely with the Star Wars collection as well. One of those pull back R2D2s. So he moves backwards and forwards. Thought that was pretty cool. Box number two, or three even, shall I say? Now, some people don't like mashers, but I think they're really good figures. My the Demise Family kids have played with mashers. They've got a box full of them. So if we see them, we always pick them up. And I tried to tend to get characters that you don't normally see. It's DC's Electra. What a great little figure as well, and it's a Masham, so you can swap the heads round, the, the body, you can literally swap every part of him round with other figures from the series, they do Marvel, they do Star Wars, they do everything. So, there we are, Masham. Moving on to Marvel figures, guys. Now, picked up this Venom figure, because Venom one of my favorites what an awesome figure and a character from the Marvel Marvel Universe uh, got him at a good price but he's missing his tongue I know no tongue it's like the main feature of Venom great figure as well really good huge actually but no tongue so he can't talk this one he can't speak <laughs> It looks like he also can't stand up. There we go. I'll get these guys. These are just a uh, fun off walk past purchase because they were cheap as well. Walkie talkies, Marvel walkie talkies. He's got a Captain America and an Iron Man. Walkie talkies. We're going to have some fun with those later with the Demise Family Kids. 
they were just a fun purchase. Now I collect the, the big figures of the Marvel and the DC ones, Titan Heroes. I haven't got the Flash, so that was nice to find. He'll go on the shelf. The Flash. The Flash! Uh, another big Spider-Man figure is not a Titan Heroes figure. You can feel the difference straight away actually with this one. Don't have this one. It's a talking one. So I'm hoping that when I put some batteries in it, it is actually going to be working as well. Oh! Got some kind of noise out of it, so that is a good sign. We'll put him down here. Another Iron Man figure. I don't have this one in my collection, so it was really nice to find this. It's one of the earlier ones, so you can tell by his suit that he's wearing. He's got his hand in the air. He's got like, he's pushing off kind of with his fist. But he's got like a cool little action there as well. So, happy with that one. I'll go in the Marvel collection. Oh! Another big Iron Man figure from the Titan Heroes series. There's a few versions of him, different colours, just different outfits that he's wearing in, in regards to the suit. So, there's another one that's a nice little find as well. Love Spider-Man. Love the animation series, the movies, the comics. As you can see, I do collect a lot of Spider-Man. If you watch previous videos from Toy Hunting, which you can see up here right now, you'll see all the other Spider-Man figures that I picked up. But I haven't got this one. Look! Now this is cool. Awesome. It's a talking one as well. So, you've got like a crazy spinny web thing here. Look at that. That is a nice find. I completely forgot about buying this. That is good, really good. Another Spider-Man in the collection. Wait. Now this is to add to the Marvel collection, guys. Look at this Hulk. This is a really good Hulk. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a early Marvel Legends Hulk. So, really happy with this. Just look at the colour of him, that green. That green is such a good colour for Hulk as well. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of research on him. I could be wrong, but it is a good figure that one. Very detailed, it's heavy. And you can just tell by the quality of the figure that it is good. So that was really nice. Hulk smash! Oh, Hulk, stand up. Stand up, don't knock everyone else over. There we go. Now, this was from a different seller, and it was just all by itself in a box. I found this, and I thought, wow, if you have this, like, surely you've got other figures, but they didn't. It's a, it's a Marvel Legends X-Men Nightcrawler, I believe. I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. But... Well, I think it's the Nightcrawler. He's got the X-Men symbol on his belt. He's got swords. No, he doesn't have so swords. I'm trying to work out who it is. He's got no tail either, so it can't be the Nightcrawler. So if you do know who this is, guys, please let me know in the comments section. This might not even be his belt, because obviously Deadpool has two swords. So I could be wrong. Let me know guys in the comment section who you know, if you do know who this is. Last box I'm going to show you guys because we are running out of time, this is taking too long. I picked up a ton of DC figures today, unbelievable. Just box after box of DC figures which I love because Batman goes on forever. So many versions of him, so many variations through the years since the dawn of time batman has there's a version of him there's a version of him for i'm just gonna lay these out on the table to show you guys that's probably the easiest way Now, 
he was found at the bottom of the box. I'm just stopping to show you this, guys. It's a vintage Aquaman. The old school version. It's not the cool new version of Aquaman that we have now. So there he is in his terrible green and orange outfit. Aquaman. So guys, what do you think of this weekend's haul? Completely different to previous versions. This is what I love about going to the car boot. You never know what you're going to find. No vintage wrestling stuff again for me, which is what I love to collect. That is my passion and favourite. But at the moment, I'm smashing it with the Marvel figures. I've never seen such a big haul of DC figures in one go. So many Batmans. We've got some crazy Batmans on the table. Scuba Batman. This one's really cool. It's like There's just so many versions of him. Uh, the Aquaman's good. Uh, there's a little flash down there as well. What do you think, guys? Please let me know in the comments section. Who's your favourite figure of the toy haul? If you want to join Demise family on their epic adventure, it's very easy. All you need to do is smash the subscribe button. Remember to turn notifications on and never miss a future video. Check out the back catalogue of other videos. So from me, Dambo Demise, be awesome, be geeky, be excellent to each other. I'll see you soon.